It's Jenny Town, Holiday Edition. Let's get it on. 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 Welcome to Jenny Town Holiday Edition. Oh my God, I can't believe the moment has finally arrived. The house is a mess. Let's do this. Okay, so everyone knows that besides a little bit of mistletoe, what you want on the holiday season is a bit of what you might call it, slow cooked mulled wine drink stew. What I did read is that what you don't need is an expensive bottle of wine, which is great. Because what I have here is this beautiful boxed Pelle Family Vineyards. And it is Cabernet Sauvignon, and it is red. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna open this up. A little trick also, if you are camping at some point, which my husband showed me a long time ago, is that, which I did not do myself, but I, I did witness that if you drink a whole box of wine, then you can inflate the bag and it can be a pillow. Remember, honey? We have a crew of one today. We were gonna shoot this yesterday in the house with a bunch of friends and did we get the flu? My God, did we? It's fine, we're all alone and we're together. I myself don't usually want this. So, you just pour it gently. Oh, okay, and we're done. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is something else is gonna go in here. Oh, this could go in. It's an Indian chai tea bag. Or you could use star anise. But I read if you didn't have that, that you could use a chai tea bag. And they did recommend caffeine free because they don't want you to go crazy, but this is a caffeinated one. And also I read that some liqueur would be nice. Orange liqueur, which we don't have. But I do have some caco de white. <laughs> no? Some rum? Yeah? Great. So we're gonna go with a little bit of spice drum. Usually I would have this with an eggnog. This is actually something this makes, they would say, they said brandy. I'm gonna put some in, just like this. I think that's the right amount. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna put in some spices. You could use beautiful cinnamon sticks or just the cinnamon that you have. Some cloves. And I did not read nutmeg, but why would nutmeg go in there, right? You know you can put nutmeg in mashed potatoes? I love it. Does everyone in this house love it? No. And then we simply stir. Pardon? Oranges? Could you pass me an orange? Toss it over. Hot! <laughs> Woo! Touchdown! Should I just peel it? I'm just gonna get that rind in there. That's just like a little bit of that holiday Christmas spirit. Or Hanukkah, or not of anything, just who cares, it's December. That's enough. And then we just stir. Let's get those. Hmm. Let's let that heat up a little bit. Let's let it do its thing. I want a rum nog. I'm gonna make one. My kids aren't here. Excuse me, young man, could you get me some ice? Oh yeah, a big ice cube. So festive. So yeah, just as while you're waiting for the mulled wine or whatever, you can just make a, just a rum nog, okay? What? Something on fire? The cookie sign fell over. The cookie sign, okay. We're gonna throw some nutmeg on there. What is this, a tutorial? Oh my God, looks like it is. Looks like we made it out. Do that one again. Okay, here we go.
Hello everybody, Jim Cuddy here. Just want to wish you all a happy holidays. Hope you have a very prosperous new year and uh, look forward to seeing you sometime. Hi, Jen. Well, well here we are. Here we are. You, know you know what? what? If, you're if you're feeling, feeling a little, little bit blue, blue, all you gotta do is, is just, just put on a little headband, headband or something like that and, and maybe put one on a dog, dog and, and you can be together, be together and, and don't worry about, about it. it. Sleigh bell. Oh, <sighs> Maybe this is a verse. Sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? In the rain, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight. We're happy tonight, walking in a winter wonderland. In the meadow, we could build a snowman and pretend that he's Parson Brown. He'll say, Are you married? We'll say, No, man. But you could do the job if you're in town. What do you think? We're taking verse. You can do the job if you're in town. Tell me again. Walking in a winter wonderland. Oh, the cold, cold nights. Walking in a winter wonderland. Yes, 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 I am. Yes, I am. Walking. In a winter wonder Okay. Okay. Who didn't eat dinner? I didn't. Who didn't eat lunch? I don't even remember her. So I got some local delicacies here to try some from some of our favorite folks making stuff. These are cookies. There's so many of them from the Dartmouth Cookie Company. Wow. I think there's a marshmallow on top. That's so good. Also, I would like to try the ginger because that's my favorite. Damn, that's really good. That tastes like my mom's. Okay, I'll try the other ones. Mmm. Mmm, peanut butter. This looks like a classic chocolate chip. These are the best cookies I've ever had. Dartmouth Cookie Company sells their cookies at the markets in Halifax, but you can find them online. Halifax Market, Algenie Landing. That's like a toffee sort of. Okay, but they also use their cookies to raise money. And this Christmas, they're raising money for Bryony House with this Karma cookie. They're chocolate mint. It's so good. Oh no. Wow, so make sure you check out this company and get some of those cookies. What's next? Rambler's Blend. Oh, if only I could just, I haven't had a coffee in two days and it's not normal for me. And I would just love to just smash my face into this right now, but I gotta wait till tomorrow or I will not sleep. This is the toasted marshmallow milk chocolate graham cracker, what? My friend Kyle Kunjak bought me a coffee once at where they sell this coffee. Dan, what's the place called again? It's called Ramblers. It's called Ramblers. But they also, you know, have shows there sometimes. And they also have tacos there sometimes too, right? It's a great place. It's on, what's the name of the street? Uh, what is the name of the street? That street. We don't know. Thank you so much. Okay, what do I do next? Okay, there's this company here candied jalapenos. <gasps> I'm super excited and scared. Candied jalapenos. There's two different kinds. Marinade for all meats. You can do it with like, you know, all that kind of stuff. Vegetables, potatoes. Woo! <clears throat> That's really, really good. 
And I'm just going to try the other one as well. <sighs> Nothing like cookies and carrots for dinner. Oh my god! It's on fire! If you like hot stuff, get that red one! Or a green one, I don't remember. And it cool down with a little bit of this stuff. Yeah, the house is a mess, don't worry. Just make a Christmas special in your house. Everything will be fine. Did you get the flu with your whole family? Yes, you did. But then you gotta lose your mind, but it's all right. Sweet and spicy. Mmm. It's really good. It's really good. I love it. So, candy jalapenos. Check them out. Get it. Okay. And our last local vendor for this holiday season for your gift ideas is this jewelry by Melissa Morrison in Petite Riviere, Nova Scotia. Look, it says to Jen from Melissa. And I didn't look at this yet because I was so excited that I wanted to be surprised. Comes in a cute little bag. Look, she wraps it in a Santa thing. You could just order direct. Oh, that's so pretty. Merry Christmas to me. It's a seashell and it's silver and it's so, so pretty. <laughs> I feel like I'm one of those people, you know, on TV. Uh, with the shopping network. Oh, look at that, how it just hangs. Oh, it's so pretty. You know what? I used to comb the beaches as a child and as an adult and look for seashells with holes in them and then I'd wear them around my neck and inevitably they would always break. And this won't break, it's silver. Is it a real shell? Is there a shell in there? Is it real? Isn't it pretty, Danny? Look how gorgeous. I love it. Ah. What do you think, everyone? Great idea. Also, Valentine's Day, if you don't do it for Christmas, great Valentine's Day gift idea. Ah, Nova Scotia, just always there, shining, sparkling like the sea. Okay. Oh my God, we have to check our mulled, our mulled drink because it's not complete until we try it. Uh, oh, I need to pour it in, but I don't have a thing to pour it in. So I will just... Nope. Okay. There we go. Just beautiful. Let's try it. I like it. I like the smell of it. My mouth is on fire. <laughs> it's nice. It should be hotter. Let's heat it up more. Okay? We'll try it in a little bit. Okay, it's time to check in with my BFF, Lori Curtis. She's up to something wild and crazy at her house. What are you doing? Tell me, show me. Girl, get over here and help me out. Hi, Jenny Town. I just want to say thank you so much for letting me share some of my Christmas decor tips. What I've decided to share with you is the entryway. Y'all know the entryway is the mouth of the house, so let's put some lipstick on it. Then you're just going to gonna want to grab some greenery. I like to go foraging out in the wilderness and get some greenery for my wreath. <laughs> Smells great! Next, you're going to take the greenery that you've gathered, some of the ornaments from a tree, some string, your ring, and just mm, Whip it up, whip it up, whip it up until, <sighs> voila, look at your classic Christmas tree, wreath, it's a wreath. Now, this is the classic wreath, it's gorgeous with a red bow. If you like, you could add a little sass and add a pink bird, gorgeous. Okay, point at me. Take a video? Yeah. I think it's already taking. I know. Okay. It stopped. Okay. It went. And now, you've got your wreath. You're going to try and want to hang it on this lamppost or on the door. But, 
it might be a bit tricky. If you don't have anything to hang it on, it's, a, it's okay. You can just hang it on the doorknob. Everything's great. Looks great there too. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, Jenny Towners. I hope you're having a lovely time and wish you only the best for the festive season and into next year. Hi, I'm Carly. Tanya. And we're wishing everybody a happening holiday. Okay, are you ready? It's time for your Christmas messages of love. Oh, finally, it's time for me to just take a rest. I'm just exhausted. Finally, I can just sit. Oh my God, who is it? Hello? Oh, yes, this is the messages of love line. Do you have a message for someone? Oh, great, let me just, what are you saying? You wanna send a message out to Megan Smith? I know Megan, from the stagist Andrew, what? Well, we are also raising money for Dartmouth Fridge. If you wanna make a donation, this is a good time. Liz Ann Tucker says, love to my soul sister, Michelle, MJ and Dartman. She's an amazing, generous soul who worked her ass off as a traveling LPN during COVID and now needs a big rest and lots of healing vibes her way. Missing you in Newfoundland. Well, we are sending those messages out. <laughs> oh, Shannon Wim Campbell. Hey, Shannon, what's up? In Newfoundland says, I'd love to give a shout out to my sweetheart, Andrew Gray. May we honor the light's return and delight in some mischief and merrymaking this holiday season and beyond. Emily Hall from Russell, Ontario says, I wanted to send a message of love to my daughters. Bianan, who is two and a half years old, and Goramla, who is six months. Is there somebody? Oh, hello! From the lust! To her bestie, Yvonne Barrett in New Brunswick. She's a wonderful soul and helped me get into nursing school. Well, nurses are underrated, aren't they? Okay, what's next? I'm sending a message of love to you for my parents, Bernadette and Edgar, who will be seeing their family at Christmas for the first time since the pandemic. What was that from? Listen, I don't know who that message is from, but we know who it's to. It's to Bernadette and Edgar. And I and the person who wrote this message to me are sending all of our love to Kate Breton. Bang! Who's next? Happiest 71st birthday wishes to my dearest mother, Valerie. You are so loved and appreciated from Crystal in Winnipeg. I want to send my love to my whole family, but especially for my husband, Dave. And my incredible kiddos, Maxwell and Maisie. That's from Kristen in Hammond's Plains, Nova Scotia. From Julie, Fern, Fiend, I mean, in Hamilton. Now I'll try my hand at sending some love to my sweet, sweet friend, Megalette and hers, and something, something. She's welcomed me these last five years since moving from Nova Scotia. It's been so lovely and great. And she, with her wild red hair, is actually calling me on the phone, not just text her, sharing chicken tenders and sweet potato fries just now. Sharing super expensive fancy wine and absolute shit wine. <laughs> and from Glenn News Show in Ottawa, sending my love to your whole family in St. John's, to Charlotte, Andrew, Ellen, Ernie, to the Reeds, to the Fowlers. This one's for you, Peggy. And our last message is from Seaforth, just down the road, Seaforth, Nova Scotia. Gary, oh Gary, I can't wait to marry you. You're my man in the moon. My favorite forever. Love, Beth. That's it. That's a wrap on Christmas Messages 2022. Oh, hello. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's Jill Barber coming at you from the West Coast. Wishing you all the best of the season. Mwah. Okay. Oh, holy night. Oh, holy night. The stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our DC. I'm starting. All right. This is not a joke. Oh, holy night. I'm so sorry. I'll get it right now because I'm going to continue. It's because you're. Mm -mm. 
Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shine. <laughs> it is a night, and it's so. <laughs> I can't remember this verse, so I'm going to do a spoken word part. I just hope that you all have a very, very nice Christmas. As I said before, maybe the house is dirty, but maybe it's time to get rid of some stuff. Maybe you need to take a bath. Maybe you dyed your hair dark and you're not really sure. But this Christmas season, it's important to be grateful for the love and the health that we have. Do I have the flu? Did I have the flu? Yes. But I'm here for you. And I love you. And let's do it. Okay. Sweet hymns of joy and something, something. Now, um, I was originally going to make a, a craft that I recalled from when I was 10, when my parents um, separated and we moved, my mother and I and my brother and our corgi and our hamsters and my budgie to a uh, townhouse in Clayton Park and we were spray painting pine cones um, gold and gluing them directly onto the Christmas tree. But instead, my friend Emily Dempsey, uh, she actually makes crafts. So she, she made these and she has so many of them made. She's made thousands of them or tens of them. And I went to her house tonight where I left my children and there were pies. She just made pies. There was a lemon ring pie, there was a chocolate pie apparently. And everything's just very clean and nice. And I'm like, what's up? So, I need her to come over and help me with a couple of things. But what she is helping with me tonight is crafts. So we're gonna make it together because I am gonna learn. But I, hello, hello, hello. So I texted my friend Jen and I said, I made way too many paper snow plates. Would you like some for your house? And she said, yes. Yes, I would. You film yourself uh, making them. Yes. And I'll try to make some too. And Great. I said, oh my We're God. both drinking eggnog. So here Yours is probably homemade though. So hey Jen, do you want to make paper snowflakes with me? Yes I do. All you need are paper bags. Yep. Yeah. You gave these to me. glue gun. I don't have a glue gun. And scissors. I have scissors! scissors if you don't have a hot glue gun, yeah. you can use any type of gluing product you have. So you take your seven bags, those are super lunch bags. You can use any size paper bag and any tape. paper bag. The teeny tiny ones make smaller snowflakes, so medium-sized ones make medium-sized snowflakes, and the big ones make big ones. Now if you have bigger ones, you make even bigger ones. It's just whatever you want. And these are seven-pointed snowflakes, and I think technically snowflakes in real life have six points, but unfortunately I tried to make these with six bags and it just doesn't work. No. For the math, you need to have seven. That so we could go all the way around. So you start out by taking a bag, the little flappy part down, and you're just going to start gluing seven together. Oh shit, it's super easy. Make sure your glue gun works. Mine sort of sucketh, but whatever it'll do. I really like this Now up. we're going to skip ahead <laughs> to the part okay. where we have all seven glued together. It's also very important that when you're making Christmas crafts that you have a little rub on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Now, 
you have all seven glued together. It looks like I do have a glue gun together. somewhere. And now we're I told you I had the glue this week, right? So you can cut any pattern you want. You can do anything you want, and it makes all different sense. I'll just watch. You can put things in the middle if you want to, if you have them. I made some extra little snowflakes in case I wanted to like a little bit in the middle. You do whatever you want. Everything's okay. Because every snowflake in real life That's is right. different. There's never two the same. So these are never going to be the same. But I'm going to try to make that. But it's not going to be the same. Okay. It's going to be close. Okay. So this one, what? I'm going to do, do down like this, yeah. and then little points on the side. You're cutting through 14 layers in the middle, and even more on the sides because of the folds. So it's really hard. So it will be messy, and it doesn't matter. So I have this little thing. And then do little points down here. Rip them off. And I'm going to do one down here. And then you just push those down in the way. Um, you can see they're not the same. You can be really precise and get a pencil and draw it out and make them all the same, but I don't really care and I think they look just good anyway. So to make this a little bit different, you can put like little cuts. And all they do is don't cut them all the way off, just make little cuts, and they sort of like make little decorations when you open them up. Where did she glue it? I'm gonna be really fancy. You could have some holes. Now, because these are multiple, multiple layers, you have to take them in. You have to split them up at the beginning. So you can actually put those all the way through, and you'll see what those look like when you're done. And if you hang these in windows, the holes will be nice during the day because light comes through. Now these are. There you have some, so it doesn't matter. And if you have lots of big bags, you end up making a lot, and then you run out of places to put them in your home. I even have more than you can get And say, hey friend, do you want some for your house? And she'll say yes. But how about you help film them? Film making them. Yes. So I can put it on Jenny Town. Yes. And I can make them too. And then you say, oh my god, that's insane. I don't like being on camera. And then you do it anyway. After you've had some egg and all running. <laughs> and that's just how it goes at Christmas time. Yes. I think we should do it for Valentine's Day too. A really Maybe a pie. An expensive craft to make. Yeah. And if you take your time, I'm like me right now, well, I'm going to be really fast. Um, they can actually look quite pricey. Ooh, yes, they do. In your house, they so do. It's a good way. To make things that look nice, and no one knows. Nobody knows. Got little holes. Nobody yeah, knows. Nobody yeah. knows. What it looks like. Now, if you want to test the trouble, the other hand in, the other hand in, open it up. Well, that's actually oh quite right. <laughs> so now we close it up again, like an accordion. What and did she just do? do? So my glue gun sort of sucks. So I have to push my glue at the same time because my kids use this a lot. It's a lot. And we have to it a little bit And if you're trying to look for glue sticks in anywhere in the world right now, do not try at the dollar store. Apparently, it's impossible to get off glue sticks right now. Really? So I have to go to the unnamed, very expensive craft store. And they had tons, but oh my gosh, were they expensive. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And now you just put the tray and you have it. Anywhere you want. Looks like this. All over your house. That's now, it. if you want to be really fancy, you can make little six point snowflakes like I did earlier with different paper. And you can glue them in the middle just to have a little bit of light because snowflakes technically are not brown in Canada at least. I thought we were done. Oh. In Nova Scotia, it's maybe in big city snowflakes of brown. Who knows? Yes. I think now it's gone. Hey, how pretty that is. Hey, there's a brown white snowflake. Is that for your wife? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey, what's up, Jenny Town? Everybody in HRM, everybody out in Nova Scotia, the 902. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody.
Hey, it's Tim here, and this is Indy and Fox William Allen Chasen. Fox William Allen Chasen, and we want to tell you have a merry Jolly Christmas! Jolly Christmas! Woohoo! It's a holiday message! The song says you can be calm and bright. Harrington is a great example of calm. Bright. Bright enough. I feel calm. Look how bright it is in here. <whistles> calm and bright. It's a new trend. Happy holidays, Jenny Town. on the rooftop tonight. He's up there right now with his reindeer. He's getting wild. Do you see him? He's in his red suit, okay? He's got a big bag of toys. What's up there? I'm not sleeping tonight. No way. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, I didn't write enough words. Apparently. I'm not sleeping tonight, no way! Oh Santa, Santa Claus, I'm coming at you! Oh, ho, 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 ho! Here I come, I forget! Forget about me, Santa Claus I tried to be so good Really, you know sometimes It's really hard And I'm here, here, my love I know you're Santa, you gotta stay in the zone But it's Christmas time right now Give me them toys! Don't leave me all alone! It's Santa. Don't you forget about me. Give me them toys. Damn, I want to believe. Ooh. There's so many verses. It's Santa. You heard me, Santa Claus. I was really good. Don't make this hard on me now. Don't make it hard. Thank you for coming to my show! Woo! Yeah! It's Santa! Everybody knows! He walks on the roof with reindeer! One of them's got a shiny nose! It glows! Don't get in trouble! He can see you! 
Watch out. You better be good. Stay in bed. Our mama's gonna find you out. Santa! That's it. Show's over. That's it. That's all I got. Woo! No, no. We're done, right? Yeah, unless you want to shoot something else. I don't think. I don't think so. Okay, can you guys sit beside each other? Can you sit beside each other, please? Mm -hmm. Ah, too big! <laughs> Guess please for the, for the questions. Okay, I have some questions. It's the best thing ever! Okay. Okay. All right, Gus. Okay. Okay, who ha I have some questions for you guys. What does Christmas mean to you? Okay, you have to sit there and I'll show you after. Sit, with, sit right there on the pillow with Gus, okay? Yeah. Gus and Hank, you have to sit beside each other for the video, okay? If you want Santa Claus, Mommy you, ha you have to come. Mommy, see Okay, Gus, I have to see your face. Mommy, see Put Hank in front of me. Can you sit beside him? Can you please sit beside him? Okay, and can you put your arms around each other? Sit beside each other and put your arms around each other, okay? Okay, great. Sit on your bums. Sit on your bums. Okay, and then just look at mommy. Look at mommy. Okay, what does Christmas mean to you? Snowball fight to make snowmans. Merry Christmas! I love you! I love you! I love you! I see me, mommy. I can tell you